place where we ride with you mm-hmm. There's no limit to what we can do mm-hmm. Tell me where you at, where we ride with you Girl, I'm capable, is you available? Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center And please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click like And of course, the subscriber right now well, let's get straight to it right here. Daniel Dynamite Dubois is set to defend this title um, against Joseph Parker, former WBO Heavyweight World Champion, who got dethroned by Anthony Joshua some years back. Dubois is set to make his first, um, I don't know, second title defense. Um, he won the title via email anyway, and then defending Joshua, like it was like a way to legitimize it. Now let's say this is first three defense. We know his second defense would be against the winner um, of Ajabu and and um, Marty Bakoli, which we know that uh, I don't know if he wins that fight. If he fights each uh, any of those guys, it's a problem. Parker, on the other hand, is a tricky customer. The reason why I call Parker a tricky customer is because Parker, on his day, can be very good. And if he's focused, I believe he would find a way. I don't think he would knock Dubois out, but he can outboss Dubois. Unless he gets overwhelmed by Dubois. Dubois doesn't have the engine of Joe Joyce. But he does have the power of a bull. And uh, Parker doesn't have the power of a bull, but he has, you know, the, the agility of a mouse. Now, let's get straight to right here, my brothers in the house. Adewale and uh, Tajak. Adewale, Parker Dubois. How are you looking at this fight? Man, this is Parker's last opportunity, in my opinion. Why? To gone for the titles. Because um, although Joseph Parker is a young guy, but I I think we've seen the best of Parker in his career, if you ask me. Do I think he has the ability to beat Daniel Dubois? Yes, he can. He could. But that will be a very difficult fight because Dubois is just too heavy-handed and too strong for Parker. Plus, he knows how to box as well. So I think more than likely, Parker is probably going to get stopped. And, or, I want to say and, or, by the time that fight gets to the middle rounds, if Parker realizes that he he'll be on the safer side not to engage too much then he would implement moving around the ring a lot so i visualize a fight that would most likely go the distance or a late stoppage for daniel dubois just because dubois has a great form he's currently on a tear he's tearing through everyone and he's young very young very strong been boxing from a young age he, he is very experienced as well. He's fought some really, really good guys. Comparing their last couple of opponents, Parker's victories against Wilder and Zhele Zhang, in my opinion, they were good victories, but not great victories. Dubois, on the other hand, um, Jarrell Miller and Hergovic and Anthony Joshua, those were also good victories. I wouldn't call them great victories. But I would slightly rate Dubois' recent fights higher than Parker's recent fights. So, all in all, if I'm putting all of this together, I would favor Daniel Dubois to come out victorious. But it's not going to be easy because Parker is really experienced and he knows to, he knows how to move around the ring. But he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't be able to hurt Dubois. And that's where Dubois' advantage is coming. So, yeah, I, I hope I, I did justice to that breakdown. Um, I, I just feel like, man, that fight is a 60-40 for Daniel Dubois, if you ask me. 60-40.
thanks bro um 60 40 very interesting uh Jack, wait, what about you <laughs> this is this is gonna be a good fight this is gonna be a very very entertaining fight let me point out something okay Daniel Dubois is good. I can't take that away from him. But how good is he? I don't know. Parker, on the other hand, is it, he, um, what I did while they say is correct. You know, he's on his last leg, you know, both having lose, bo both having lost. Dubois quitting against Joe Joyce. Joe uh, Parker going out on the shield. Got up. Still got up. Still got up. I feel that Dubois won't have the same success as he as he did against Anthony Joshua. Because let's be honest, man. AJ is a, is a mess when it comes to mentally preparing himself for a fight. You know, I feel like he's never mentally prepared. His head is, is, is ah, maybe just thinks way too much, maybe too much preparation. It's never in there. He's physically never in there. The age of that that I would like to see, I think that AJ is long gone, you know, and it's just hoping for the best at this point. Parker, on the other hand, is is a more a, 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 a fighter who you say I you know he comes in there and he's where re he's wearing to go you know he definitely can put together combinations this Dubois is if if he thinks if Dubois thinks he's gonna come in there and do that Russian all that thing that he did against AJ it's not gonna work man because one a um Joseph Parker is is short for a heavyweight. I think he's about six three, maybe, right? Compared to the rest of them who are at least six eight, six seven. So Dubois would have to six land four. Six, six four. four. He would have to land good jabs on Joseph Parker. And even with that, Deontay Wilder wasn't actually able to place his jab and land a nice a nice right on Parker because Parker Parker moved and I believe from what we learned from the Usyk fight I believe if I'm not mistaken Parker will be moving around but it all depends on how long he moves around but if Parker can land par hey Parker has a nasty overwrite if he lands that nice nasty override on Dubois, we might see a, a image, a, a, a faint, but a, a, a past Dubois who, who's given up, who's taken a knee, who's hesitant. We might see that if Dubois, did, if Dubois sees that he's not getting it the way he wants to, and he's taking shots, unnecessary shots. Will I, which, which I think Dubois will be taking unnecessary shots. He's still good for it. He's still very, very much good for taking unnecessary shots. Nothing's changed about him at all. Just because, like I said, be, because he beat an AJ, like I said, who's not confident in himself, mentally unprepared, just everywhere, you know, doesn't mean that he's going to do that same thing to Parker. I do believe he will be taking unnecessary shots. Like I said, we might see a faint remnants of where Dubois decides uh, he's going to be hesitant because he sees that he's not landing the what the shots he he wants to land, right? But bro, question. But we seen Dubois, we seen Dubois um, getting punched a lot by Hergovic, and he was able to weather the storm. What do you think about that? Listen, the Her Hergovic, Herg when he fought Hergovic at the beginning of. You saw that he was taking a lot of punches and a lot of damage. People were saying, bro, this guy's taking a lot of punches. But eventually, hey, I all knew Hergovic's gas tank was garbage. You punch for so long, your punches won't affect him anymore. 
eventually he was working his way up. He was doing Dubois was doing what he wanted to do. Those guys were basically punching each other in the face. Nobody was moving their head. Okay. That's why Dubois kept on going. But like I said, if Dubois sees that he's unable to implement what he wants to do, we're gonna see Dubois back off a little bit and be discouraged. And that's what that's when the fight might turn the tides. Right? I'm not saying he's not gonna be he's not gonna have He's not gonna have success. I think he's gonna have success, but I don't feel. I feel like it won't be as much as he did against Hergovic. It won't be as much as he did against Joshua, because I feel like Andy Lee has already. Had, they've know. They know that if you move, if you stay one spot for Dubois, it's an issue. And I think Joseph Parker is gonna move around. But the the issue with Joseph Parker is how long can he continue moving around the ring? Joseph Parker didn't. Ex uh, uh, he did a great job against against uh, 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 Zang, you know, against those bigger guys. He did. He did. Um, he did against uh, a good job against uh, 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 what's his name, uh, Deontay Wilder, Zang, you know, those guys. Although he lost a fight with 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 Joe Joyce, I don't know. You see. I don't know. Joe Joyce just stood there and let. Um, maybe he thought he had it against Joe Joyce. Maybe he's like decided Joe Joyce is not going to is going to be an easy fight. And eventually, Joe Joyce, you know, the guy weathered the storm and was landing some nasty jabs on and on on Joseph Parker. That might have been the issue. Also, I heard Joe Joyce was also sick that day, but. But let, let's let's see what this one writes. I think Joseph Parker is 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 much more. He's able to do more against taller guys because those guys, the uh, the the taller guys are used to fighting guys their height, not somebody of of a, of a of a smaller stature. So let's see where it goes, man. I I believe. This fight could either go to a 12 round decision or it's it could end early. It could end early. Bro, I can't wait for this uh card though. And think when is when the card is finally announced, we're gonna like basically discuss all about all the fight and on the card and then we'll see how that plays out, you know. And uh, for Joshua, I think we'll see what, what he does. Uh, after me after december 21st theory is currently in training um i've been seeing a lot of uh inspiring partners zan kuzubuski being there mm, i don't know i don't know it's not i don't know i don't know if there's a replica of usi that there are not a lot of sad paws and but there are sad paws and there's usik sad paw <laughs> that's a different level of fight <laughs> little guys always oh, your 